Question 1.1 of Paper 1 consists of six finance questions that were designed to assess your understanding of income, expenditure, profit and loss. I give this question an overall difficulty rating of 3 out of 10. Let's take a look at this question in detail to see why. You are given the cost price of items for a lunch bag to be sold to learners at a school. In question 111, you have to show how the cost of one yogurt was calculated. The cost of one yogurt is given as 1 rand 83 cents. The cost of a six pack yogurt is 10 rand 99 cents. The item cost of 1 rand 83 cents is calculated by dividing the bulk price of 10 rand 99 cents by the number of yogurts per pack. In question 112, you have to determine the maximum number of apples per bag. Since one apple equals 2 rand 87 cents and the bulk apples cost 22 rand 99 cents, the maximum number of apples per bag equals 22 rand 99 cents divided by 2 rand 87 cents and this equals 8,01. You can't get 0,01 of an apple so you have to round this answer down to 8 apples. In question 113, you have to show that the total cost to make one lunch pack is 18 rand 36 cents. The cost to make one lunch pack is the sum of the items per lunch pack. The cost of one lunch pack is 5 rand 63 cents plus 1 rand 55 cents plus 1 rand 57 cents plus 2 rand 87 cents plus 1 rand 83 cents plus 3 rand 54 cents plus 1 rand 37 cents and this equals 18 rand 36 cents. In question 114 you have to calculate the selling price of one lunch pack if the profit per lunch pack is 16 rand 64 cents. The profit is the positive difference between the selling price and the cost price. So the selling price equals the cost price plus the profit. The selling price for one lunch pack is 18 rand 36 cents plus 16 rand 64 cents and this equals 35 rand per lunch pack. In question 115, you have to define the term profit in the given context. Here the context part is important and the general definition of profit won't get you the marks. A definition of profit in the given context is Profit is the difference between the selling price and the cost price Yvette makes when selling the lunch bags. In question 116, you have to write down as a simplified ratio the bulk price of the 100% fruit juice to the bulk price of the sweets. Since the question mentioned the fruit juice first and then the sweets, the ratio has to be written like this. Fruit juice to sweets. This ratio will now have to be simplified. To do this, we must find the highest common factor for the values of 135 and 85. It is easy to see that 5 can divide into both 135 and 85 with no remainder. So 135 divided by 5 is 27 and 85 divided by 5 is 17. This gives you a simplified ratio of 27 to 17. From here, there is no common factor for 27 and 17. In other words, no natural number other than 1 can divide into both numbers without producing a decimal number or a remainder. So the simplified ratio of fruit juice to sweets is 27 to 17. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video and if you found this video helpful and you would like to learn more, you can subscribe to be notified of more videos like this and you can check out this video next.